In some horror movies, there's a knife-wielding slasher. In other horror movies, there's a paranormal entity. In the substance, the horror comes from being a woman aging in a superficial society. Have you ever dreamt of a better version of yourself? Younger, more beautiful, more perfect. Demi Moore is Elizabeth Sparkle, the host of a very popular aerobic show who finds that her career is over on her 50th birthday. She's aged out of being desirable and the network wants someone younger and hotter to replace her. She's promised a mysterious treatment called the substance that will allow her to be a younger and more beautiful version of herself every seven days. Margaret Qualley serves as that version who takes up the name Sue and immediately starts turning heads all over town. But as you might imagine, shortcuts and quick fixes to try to stop the inevitable march of time have downsides. And boy, does Elizabeth find that out the hard way. The substance feels like a combination of Death Becomes Her, Black Swan, David Cronenberg movies like The Fly, maybe even a little bit of 1990s The Witches, all wrapped up in this surreal and delightfully grotesque package. This movie is about as subtle as a sledgehammer with its commentary on aging, the male gaze, the superficiality of Hollywood, our constant quest to look younger and sexier. But the sheer bluntness here really lends a subversive humor to this film. Pretty girls should always smile. The body horror scenes here are utterly disgusting, but also kind of weirdly beautiful in terms of the artistry that goes into creating these practical effects. You really have an appreciation for the molding, the painting, all that craftsmanship that goes into making things really disgusting and extra gooey. In terms of performances, Demi Moore is spectacular. She brings this really great vulnerability to Elizabeth's dysmorphia, but then she also really leans into the crazy when things start to ramp up. Margaret Qualley really understands how to play up the objectification of her character, and she goes so over the top with it that it feels like a great biting commentary on the male gaze. Dennis Quaid is also great here. He's an excellent sleazy producer who is just like the perfect awful man in power. So if you're not bothered by some truly gnarly body horror, The Substance is an excellent watch. It's funny, it's poignant, it's disgusting. It's one of my favorites of the year. Mm -hmm.